Let's try that again. Oh, three, four, eight. Are you in there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, go ahead, brother. What do you need? Uh, since uh, the last caller was mentioning his Facebook page, I'd, I'd, I'd like to also mention I run the American Patriot Coalition on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash American Patriot Coalition. I go uh-huh. by the Coalition's Pass. Uh, we're a page dedicated for the Constitution, Second Amendment, uh, constitutional um, uh, abiding Leo and... EMS and fire, and so if anybody wants us to come support that page, we will definitely, you know, appreciate that. Any like-minded individuals? Uh, you're definitely on my list of things to do, man. I, and I appreciate you chiming in. So you administrate that page? Yes, sir. Me and a couple other admins. Uh, what's your reach right now, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we've got about two, uh, about three thousand fans on that page. That's a good chunk. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to support you a couple more times while we're going, uh, you know, through this endeavor. Uh, American Patriot Coalition, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, there's sure. uh, 52 people on Facebook. Just heard you say that. Or, I'm sorry, 52 people on this call. Uh, just heard you say that. So hopefully you get some quick ads and uh, other other people uh, use you as a resort. Would you be biased to, uh, you know, maybe letting some people use that as another uh, avenue of communications? Uh, to yeah, join, sure. You know, I'd like to do that. I just don't have my laptop available right now, but maybe tomorrow I'd be able to stream this conversation. Yeah, I, I would highly uh, recommend trying to do that. That that would help. But you know, also you know, with the kind of reach that you do have, if uh, you know more leaders are showing up at your page, if you could start compiling, you know, some of these other administrators uh, that are trying to help out as well. Um, you know, you've got a very broad name of your group, American Patriot Coalition. Um, so hopefully more people, you know, move towards you and, uh, you know, meet up there, you know, for other further communications. We are trying to get uh, Patriot Underground to, uh, you know, help out and, and offer their uh, page uh, to help out with rideshare. So I think that maybe the next... I would like to help out, yeah. And if you could uh, uh, send me a message through your personal Facebook onto Patriot Coalition, I could link up with you that way and we could keep going back and forth, exchanging information and content. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I will get to that. Again, you're, you're on a long list of things to do, man. I've got you here now uh, somewhere in the middle with a list of other people I need to uh, add as well as their pages and things. So I will get to you, man. Forgive me if it's not, you know, until tomorrow night. You know, I'll get to it when I can. I appreciate you chiming in. But uh, at, on a personal level, if you want to type in B-R-Y-A-N and then space, uh, free the people, all one word, um, I should pop up. And uh, What was that first part? Uh, Brian's my first name, B-R-Y-A-N, and then the words free the people, uh, all one word. I, I will pop up, and uh, I'm at maximum capacity right now, but if you want to throw me a, a, a follow, um, you know, that's one way to start off. And then, uh, you know, you can, I, I leave my profile pretty public. Uh, you can chime in, and then uh, we'll reconnect from that point. How's that sound? All right, cool. Is your picture the thing from the, uh, the office, the if you could avoid starting World War Three? that one? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, thanks. That that would be nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank All right, you. And then uh, when you get back to me, make sure you just change the uh, covers of your TPS reports to blue. Okay. Thank you. And that's only for people that saw the office. All right, we got one more people. Uh, two more people. I apologize. Uh, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna cut you loose. Zero three four eight. I'll report back when you get a chance. Okay, man. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, next caller, ending in 10-08-1008. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, brother. Uh, I'm Helen from the 661 Kern County in California. Uh, is there any reports that I, I don't remember the website exactly, so is there any reports of a Someone who was arrested while cr- trying to cross one of the borders who was trying to carry like a, I guess, a dynamite jacket in or had it in his vehicle. Do you know if that is? Uh, that's not confirmed right now. Do you mind me asking where you've heard that? Uh, to be perfectly honest, it was a questionable fishy website. Let me see if I can find it real quick, but I <coughs> doubt it. But I... Uh, it was just a weird report, and it threw me through a loop thinking, you know, 
what the hell, to be honest. But yeah, um, at this point, you know, there, we've got varying degrees of seriousness here right now, man. I mean, if uh, I, I'm not the kind of guy that's down for any illegal searches and seizures, but if we've got idiots like that that may or may not, you know, be showing up to this event, um, I, I can't really blame them for kind of treating some of this the way they are right now to a degree. Um, you know, they got to take everything at face value. So if you come in there, PDUs, hard-headed, you know, starting crap, and, uh, you know, you're under the teeth, there's obviously you're going to cause yourself some problems. But anybody like that with it, fucking the capability to do what you just mentioned uh, obviously needs to be avoided at all costs. And uh, I, I think what we should be doing is if anybody is showing up there still, uh, that they might want to offer to volunteer to help out law enforcement to some degree because they're going to be a better liaison to we the people than they are right now. And uh, if they offer to, you know, maybe help out, we're not, we don't want any illegal roadblocks, but, uh, you know, people are, uh, they're kind of saying, hey, we're looking out for each other. We just don't, I don't even really care if you're armed, you're, you're, you're legal, you're cool, you know, you're, uh, you're, you have a right to carry from your state. So you're coming in here with the open carry state. You know, if you're doing everything legal, there's not too much they can do. But if there's a, a jackass, you know, bringing Molotov cocktails, by all means, I hope, uh, you know, they're arresting these assets and, and, and and again, we can either confirm or deny that right now, but uh, you know, civilly and humanitarily, we can only say that uh, you know that'd be the logical thing to do right, right now. I, I just hope it's not really encroaching on the good people's rights. And if there are any asshats and Joe's headed out headed out that way, trying to cause problems, that you know, I hope they do catch them. And I hope uh, the rest of these uh, sheepdogs that are headed out there, and three percenters, and militiamen, and uh, you know, volunteers and uh, protesters, uh, all kind of keep an eye out for each other and. Uh, you know, if somebody's kind of acting in that capacity like they could, you know, be a problem, um, I think maybe the people could react and show that, you know, the people can handle their own and, uh, you know, ho hopefully nobody steps out of line and does something stupid. And if it were to happen, uh, I'd be keeping an eye on the type of people that would get paid to do that. I'm not too uh, too worried about actually the hotheads doing that. I'd be more up, uh, worried about, um, you know, I hate to bring this up as well, but, you know, similar to what kind of happened in Boston and, um to a different degree of whatever scale. Um, I hope that kind of helps answer at least my opinion on that anyway. Yeah, I I was just worried that that was a legitimate story, and I, I we don't need to be going that crazy with this. I understand the peaceful protest. It's, it needs to be done, and I just hope that this doesn't lead to a shootout in the end. I'm hoping and praying for that it doesn't. I hope this can resolve peacefully. But... And, you know, more and more as it goes on and on, just seems like it's, the tension seems to, be, sounds like it's, is more, you know, more stressful out there, and it's just yeah. worse. And oh, yeah. It's worse than you know, I know it's probably worse than everybody else here. You know, I hope this is uh, kind of therapeutic for a lot of people, too, as well. You know, there's a lot of people uh, hovering over the TV and, and hoping for something and, and all over Facebook and whatnot, and, uh, you know, trying to find more data on this and, uh, you know, there's a lot of conjecture and a lot of hearsay and, and he said, she said kind of stuff that, uh, you know, we had one loopy person earlier from this call and I said, I hope somebody, some funny from Black Block doesn't go through there and, uh, you know, launch a all of it. I, I meant what I said. I hope that doesn't happen. Then all of a sudden somebody else chimed in and said, oh, my God, you're telling people that, uh, the, you know, Black Block went in there with uh, Malta cocktails. I'm like, no, that's not what I said. You know, we're, we're, we're crossing a lot of fine lines right now that we need to kind of keep everybody on the same page. So that's kind of why we're, I'm volunteering and other people have volunteered to help out and I uh, appreciate you, you know, I appreciate everybody else that's chimed in on this call over the last few days and uh, if anybody else wants to chime in, we're, we have a couple open slots here, you can press star six on your phone. Uh, if you've got anything to say, I, I'm happy to, to let you in, you'd be the next person on the call. Uh, while I was caller that's still on 7643, anything else you wanted to add uh, while we wait for someone else to press star six? Um, I'm also encouraging some local papers here to uh, start putting the word out because I've literally seen nothing in my area on the news, why, especially for local. And Kern County is known to be the, the red splotch in the blue state. So I'm trying to encourage that as much as I can. I was a journalist by heart. I spent a couple of years in college doing that. So I'm trying to help in that form get the word out because um, like another caller earlier, the uh, EMT. I'm working. A, I'm about finishing up a 12-hour shift doing security work, and you know, and finding this phone number and getting a he ear in on it. I'm passing, writing, taking down as many notes as I can, so I can pass along some of the journalists that I know. 
and you know, for at least face value, it's is the contact line to be able to get hopefully get some information around a little easier, and I'll make sure to be spreading that with within my community. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, please carry on as such, and uh, you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. That's exactly what we need. You know, uh, some more of the other warriors, people warriors, and you know, other groups of representatives just to keep doing that. We're trying to spread the word, find more boots on the ground, get more people on the same page. You know, add in uh, you know administrators and uh, you know other leaders and such that you know have some reach. Um, you know, and try to get as many people as we can on the same page. If uh, you know, we can get boots on the ground verifying. If we can get the ranchers on the phone to verify, Richard Mack and a lot of other people are aware of this phone call that plan on chiming in at some point tomorrow. Um, you know, after they uh, meet at the uh, flagpole at nine their time in the morning here in a wee bit. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. I, I I'm going to try to get some rest, but uh, I got hunched in a few hours. They're going to start chiming in, so I'm going to try to get a cat nap in here in a little bit, and then. Uh, you know, just to the conversation on later, we'll definitely be going uh, 8 o'clock Central um, at 8 p.m., you know, later, so to speak. Uh, it's getting kind of weird because we've been doing this for a couple of days, so there's so many segmented versions of what we've recorded thus far. Um, the playback number for this session is uh, 7261399, and uh, you can hear this portion of the call by pressing pound. 9762 pound. Again, that's a pound at 9762 pound. Should be able to play back this segment of the conversation. And in that segment, uh, we have given out the key codes for the uh, segment prior. So you're going to kind of be going working backwards, trying to get back to the first call, but that's the best we can offer right now. Um, if anybody's on my Facebook page, I, I played the uh, second to last uh, MP3 version of uh, this call. Um, you know, if you need to update yourself and see who chimed in throughout the day. Um, I've got an, another person in the queue. I'm going to go ahead and move on unless you had something else to say, bro. Oh, no, no, I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Stay strong, everyone. We'll get through this. Right. Enjoy. Appreciate you, man. Uh, 7643, I'm going to go ahead and open you and 0610 up at the same time. Um, we should have two more people on this call. Hello, bug. Hey, what's going on, Buster? Hey, man, this is um, Mark. Hey, I, uh, I'm up in Palatine, Illinois. I just want to give a shout out to you. I've been listening to you all night, and uh, appreciate the uh, conference call that's going on. Uh, yeah, I, I've got a strange experience for you, boss. Are, are you that? familiar with the Are you familiar with the place called the Palindrome? Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's called the Palindrome. It's a roller rink and a uh, swimming pool yeah. all in the same building. Does that building yeah. still exist? I don't think so, man. <laughs> no, I don't think I, so. I met, I, I met uh, Alice Cooper personally when I was about uh, nine years old, right in that building. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, right small on. world, huh? Yeah, I went to day camp out yeah. there, man. But uh, are, are you by chance in touch with the local Second Amendment group, sir? Uh, not no, not locally. I, you know, I, I haven't. Uh, I'm a. I'm a member of many groups on Facebook as far as uh, three percenters. I'm an oath keeper. Uh, All right, well, you're one of the kind of guys I'm looking for. If you could do me a favor, do you have a pen handy? Yeah, uh, I'm driving a big truck right now. Let's see if I can pull this off. <laughs> All right, yeah, go ahead. Uh, com. Uh, hold on. I know it's a long one. Illinois Sons of Liberty, all one word. dot com. You got it. Illinois Sons. Um, yep. There's a form at that website. You can log in through Facebook to stay in touch with the majority of the people. But uh, once you find your county, uh, I'm I'm imagining you're in uh, Two Bravo. You're. Uh, uh, sorry. I'm, go ahead. Say. Uh, uh, Two Bravo, I, I believe. Uh, are you Cook County or? Kane County, uh, what is that, DuPage Cook. County? Cook. Cook County. Uh, I'm Cook sorry. County. I, I, you actually have your own division out there. I, I'm in actually two Bravo, and uh, I would definitely highly recommend, though, you find your, your Cook County on there. Go ahead and add some of those people. 
Um, go ahead and add to Bravo as well, and uh, okay. stay in touch with stay in touch with some of the guys. You know, uh, once you feel comfortable, there's a team designation form that we'd want you to fill out. Show up at a couple meet and greets and uh, shake some hands with some fellows before you get to the next level. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. I appreciate, I appreciate the information. That. And, uh, your uh, your Facebook is Brian Free. What is that? Oh shit. What is your Facebook page? I'm sorry. You were close. It was Brian with the Y B L Y A N, and then a space yeah. and type in the words "free the people" all one word. Free right the up people. Up. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I got it. I I was just been riding while I was driving. It was pain in the ass. <laughs> no, it's all right, man. I appreciate you chiming in. Um, does anybody else want to chime in? If you'd like to, you can press star six right now, and you're going to end up. And, uh, yeah. We'll, anything you wanted? You wanted to add, sir? No, we'll be back with you tomorrow night, man. We drive all night long. I, I had a couple other guys with me on the uh, on a conference call, listening up to. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Are you heading to Ground Zero? No, I know I no no can't make it there. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, feel free to chime back in if you got anything updated, man. And please, by all means, keep uh, inviting some patriots over here because. Uh, you know, if you've got anybody that's got any clout, you know, I don't care, you know, what realm, let, let them know we're here trying to do the right thing and, uh, you know, create some sort of yeah. communication. So, all right. Roger, roger that, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for chiming in, man. Um, right. We've still got, what, 50 some odd people on the call. Um, if anybody else wants to press star six, that'd be great. Uh, I'm going to end up wrapping up this call in the very near future. Uh, if anybody else wants to chime in, I'm looking for you to press star six. And uh, you'll be in the queue. Uh, Mark, I'm going to go ahead and take you off. And we just got a new wireless caller coming in. Take care, bro. All right, wireless caller 7643, you're reengaged. Hey, Brian. Hey, I just talked to you not too long ago, but I just came across this on, uh, you know, the uh, Infowars.com. They had the, uh, the Clark County Commissioner, Tom Collins, it stated that uh, any Utahns that go there better have funeral plans. You heard about that? Yeah, yeah, I actually did see that, man. There's, uh, I don't, want, I don't even know why he's being such an asshat right now. That's just totally uncalled for, totally out of line. And uh, hopefully, if there's anybody in Utah that's been paying attention, uh, I want you to look real hard and strong and in, into in, in getting that exact comment verified and on audio and you go ahead and you find out how to put a lien on that man's bond as soon as humanly possible. You can't be making dire threats to the American people and trying to be a hot shot. You might be a commissioner, sir, but there's plenty of people waiting to stand in line to knock you over the head right now, and we're trying to avoid that. You better watch what you keep saying. Absolutely. Yeah, and he also called them inbred hillbillies. Yeah, you definitely need to watch what's coming out of his mouth right now. I, I uh, I'm trying to quell a problem, and guys like him are trying to stir the feces. I, I would definitely watch his intentions, who he's connected to, and what lobbyists are supporting him as well, because he's not speaking for uh, the American people by any means right now. Absolutely. You know, the only ones who are out stirring up the shit are the, the government people. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I, I appreciate you chiming back in, man. If you want to hang for a minute, nobody else is in the queue if you got something else to say. I'm going to go ahead and say again, if anybody wants to chime in, we got 50 people on the call. Go ahead and press uh, star six, and uh, I'll, let you, I'll let you speak. Um, but if you, you know, want to continue. You know, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but uh, the whole air colder situation right now, the movement to impeach him, and uh, the lowest learner being held in contempt of court, a lot of stuff's going down right now in this country, you know, and, and how much of this, you know, and I've been following for, you know, like I said, for a year and a half, two years, and the, I thought oh, yeah. they're going to do anything possible to prevent these 2014 elections to go through because there, there's know, a lot of smoke in there. You're, you're, you're the service are about to overtake. You're, you're 100% What's correct, that? man. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors and look in this hand while something's going on in this hand. Um, that's the kind of way that we need to keep up, man. So, you know, keep investigating what else is going on up there up high because, uh, most likely, you know, they're diverting attention towards this to uh, keep our attention away from something going on in another region. And uh, 
most likely it's somewhere in ten by ten by ten square parcel of land called DC. Um, Absolutely. You know, nobody, no, nobody can not 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 agree with that if you're awake right now. But uh, you know, if, if you want to take it upon yourself, when you sound just as tired as I feel, bro. So if you want to go ahead and get some rest, then uh, the early afternoon, then you know, try to hunt down more information that's going on. Maybe uh, see if CNN doing any live broadcasts on their uh, on their second and third. Um, just to see if there's some shady people uh, making decisions, you know, while uh, you know the diver- the, the diverted uh, public is somewhere else right now. I, I I would highly appreciate if somebody could take charge and do something like that. Absolutely, I'll do that, and I'll be on tonight too. I appreciate you, man. We'll be back about. I know I'll be back somewhere around eight central later. Um, I'm getting real close to. Uh, Droopy dog eyes right now. I've got another wireless caller that's going to chime in. If you want to go ahead and mute yourself out, bro, but uh, I'm going to keep you unmuted on my end. So if you want to chime in here in a little bit, that's cool. But I uh, only got one other wireless I'm trying to get in right now. So if you can hit mute on your end, I'll go ahead and keep you in the queue. And then uh, I'm going to let this wireless, uh, wireless caller speak. Uh, wireless caller 5287, you're in the queue. Hey, Brian. I've been listening for hours. My name's Taryn. I'm in central Alabama. And uh, I'm young, and I have way too much time on my hands being disabled right now. And I've been following a lot. And you two really hit it on the point. And I want to say you're God sent because you have been on point and patient with all the callers. And you're a blessing. I was, I was losing hope because, yeah, I said, there's a lot going on in the country, and it's right on TV. There's even the stuff that the president does and the executive orders that people are just calling conspiracy theories. They're not conspiracy. They're not theories. You know, um, it's really going to happen. And for the for the people that I've heard, I have hope in our country again. Because when that happened in Europe, uh, uh, what was it over there? When it, uh, Europe, when the 30 million people came together to get that Muslim president out of office, I wondered how many people would do that here, knowing we need to get our people out of office. And I was losing hope. And tonight, I'm going to bed with hope. And I hope you get some rest. And I was also losing hope that, God wasn't in our country as much as it should be, but I've heard so many people talking about prayers, and this is a warning. What's going on right now is a sign that we have to learn from, because all the executive orders, the the reason that we can't clown is they're waiting for a reason to declare martial law, and when they do, they already said they can take our land, our cars, us, and everything's already lined up. They're just waiting for somebody to clown. That's why we hit the White House steps to get that bastard out of office. But I'm going to bed with hope, sir, and I hope you really get some rest because what you're doing is amazing. It really is. Hello? Brian? Did you get cut off again? Well, I know you got cut off earlier, and if people can still hear me, I hope people learn from this and start making preparations. Because when shit really hits the fan, they already have an executive order that say they control the networks. Everything's digital now. We're not going to be able to communicate. We're going to have to be ready to join and go. There won't be no conference calls, which this is a blessing, like I said. But I hope people. Sorry, bro. I just got cut off. I didn't mean to just interrupt you now, but I got cut off, and I'm back. Keep, keep no, you're good because right you've gotten cut off earlier, and I could still hear the callers, so I was still talking just to let other people know to use this as a warning and to start making preparations because when all these executive orders go down, because they're just waiting for martial law, Brian, and you know it. That imminent, dominant, dominant, uh, you said imminent domain, that's martial law. Right. And they've already set everything up. This right here is to see how many people are going to jump. Did you hear what I said? What happened over there in Europe when they, with the, when they, thirty million people came together to oust that Muslim president? Absolutely. I ask myself and every and day. If American people would do exactly, that. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And just to see how many people are helping this rancher. But then I had no idea that this has already happened before, but it happened quietly. Now he's doing everything that's happening in our face, with uh, you know him saying, "I have a pen and a cell phone. I'll do what I want." All the executive orders has been, you know, put in with the Patriot Act. It's all been coming to a head, and it's here. But you know as well as I do, they're going to cut the networks. When shit really hits the fan, there won't be conference calls. There won't be Internet. There won't be Facebook. People need to start getting ready now because when this is on our front door, we need to be ready. They've had a long time to put this play in order. 
And it's something bigger. It's Satan is what it is. This is the end times. And I, and I appreciate it for for all the hope that I do have in our country right now. Right on, man. Uh, how old are you? I'm 34. I'm very unique, very passionate, and I'm the voice in my small little town. We're actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most churches per square mile. This town is, is it's... I just know I have, you know, I know, I know I'm one of the, the golden soldiers, and I've, I've been losing hope. The enemy's been attacking me because I know, I know what I know, and I follow so much, and I pay attention, and I decipher the bullshit from the truth. And tonight is, is your God sent. And every one of you out there, please keep your faith and see this is a warning. God warns us. In 2001, he took our heads of protection because we are, we are letting God disappear from our country. When people are talking about whether or not we should say Merry Christmas, something's wrong. When the president right. can get on TV and blatantly disrespect the Bible and praise Islam, and people you know, people know that he needs to get out of office, but why we don't cover the White House steps? Like I said, they want us to because it's martial law. They got them plastic coffins everywhere. Jesse Ventura wasn't bullshitting. That's why they took him off, and it, they, they deleted him from my DVR. I had his shit recorded, and it was gone. People wow. need to quit calling it conspiracy, shit, conspiracy theories and be ready. Because you know, you know they're gonna cut the networks. But right now, people can see it for what it is. And, and just like that man that said it was funny, man, you're—he's so lucky I was on mute because there's nothing funny about this. He has a point. No, we don't know how it's, it, it's going to end. But it's people like him. This, ooh. But that woman that came on and, and actually started crying and saying that she was proud to be an American, I was standing up, but Jim near broke back, shouting, saying, that, you know, amen and praise God. I mean, I just, I haven't had that much hope in a long time. And if it wasn't for this, and, I, and God uses bad situations like what that rancher's going through to wake people up because he wants us all to come home. But people don't listen anymore. And it's all right in our face. They, so they're not hiding what they're doing. Nobody, I mean, how long do people raise hell when, you, when they violated our privacy? But now all you've got to do is download the Facebook app and you let them activate your camera. Read the, read the permissions. We don't yes. have privacy yeah. anymore. We don't have rights anymore. They, know exactly, they just want to know who that they need to kill off the top, who they can brainwash, and who just don't give a damn. They're not going to kill everybody. But this is all part of something bigger. You know they have they've had an agenda for a long time, and I'm not I'm not, I don't hate anybody, but I, I know that the different religions, and I do believe that it has a lot to do with our president, and I know there's a lot of stuff being said on Facebook and on the internet about him, but look at what he said, himself out his mouth, and look at what they believe and what they believe for years. And watch, instead of watching YouTube, watch Syria Tube and watch babies that ain't even old enough to walk calling USA uh, pigs and swine. They're taught from the time they, they, they're born to hate us and to kill us. And then God blessed me with a personal uphand front experience with a Muslim because I had lost hope. I'd lost my job. I was homeless. And I thought, hell, all they come over here, they get new credit, a new driver's license. I went to prison young. I had, I had kicked every opportunity in the face. So I gave up. But I was, I was a sheep. I didn't know what Muslims was. I just knew they come over here, they get a new life. So how about I'll go over there and I'll get one. I was weeks from going to the Middle East. I married this man to get out of here. I knew him for two weeks, but I needed a new life. I can't start over here. They have it way better than I do. None of his stuff matched. His, his ID didn't match his passport. And when you get married, there's a 72-hour waiting period, but we walked in there to apply for our license, and they gave us a waiver for that 72-hour waiting period. It's like they pushed it. And then when I saw his stuff didn't match, I called him on the phone saying, I want a damn divorce, and I want it because uh, y'all right here, how did he get past two clerks and two judges? I can't buy a pack of cigarettes with an expired ID. And I hope they're listening to me because I'm not scared of them. And I, and I posted stuff on Facebook because if I come up dead, at least I woke up a few people. But when my God saved me from that, that situation. But I saw what I saw firsthand those two weeks I was around this man. I know what they're doing. And if you look at how many of them are here, and you look at what they've been taught and what, what, what they're about, 
And then you look at what the president's doing and what they're taking away from us every day. This is all part of something bigger. But I know one thing, God wants us to come home and we are we are the Holy Land. And I just I really think this is a warning and people like you, you're an angel, Brian. And your voice is gonna be needed tomorrow, so you need to get some fluids in you and some food and some rest. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate the kind words, man. It means a lot that we've got uh you know, all kinds of people chiming in. You sound like a pretty spiritual cat, and I really appreciate that coming from you. I'm actually um, a woman, I'm, but I smoke so many cigarettes, I sound like a guy. But I, no, I'm I an estrogen. You say, you say, you know, the, there's a lot of testosterone. We're, we're in a, females are emotional, but in a different way, you know. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate your heart, and, that, and that's where, what it comes down to. And, and you know, I appreciate you know, y'all, and I hope everybody starts talking to your friends. I know I have 600 people on my Facebook that is just local friends, not people from out of town. I don't know, just my people here. Oh. Can I chime in here? Yeah, sorry, so you just got, I'm sorry, man, you just got dropped, but uh, go, go ahead, sir, you're the next caller in line. I was trying to bring two people in, and uh, unfortunately it dropped her. Go ahead. All uh, right, cool. I was on right before her, but I just want to say uh, um, I applaud her. You know, she's right on just about everything she's saying, and, uh, and God bless her. Um, but I'd like to say, you know, have you, have you watched the show Jericho, that, that when Obama came in office, he immediately took off the air? Anyway, the show Jericho had so much. It was like they envisioned it before of what is actually taking place today. Now, they didn't actually detonate the nukes yet, you know, but I'm just saying so much of that, it was true. And that in that show, they actually flew the don't tread on me flag. They actually, you know, taught you the ways to prep, you know, for what's to come. And Obama came in office 08 and immediately took it off the air in the middle of season two. And, uh, you know, but I, I just want to say, uh, also, I, I got something here that yeah. I'm going to read. It says, warriors are not always the fastest or strongest people. Strength and speed can be developed through training. Warriors are those who choose to stand between their enemy and all that they love or hold sacred. Yeah, what? You know, Brian, you're a damn warrior. So is everybody else out there. I can't really do and, uh, and it and it's <clears throat> right now, you know, the the Bundy Ranch, what's going on right now, you know, this is, to me, potentially the first battle of the Second Amer- American Revolutionary War. But you know what it is? It's not actually going to be a civil war. It's going to be a war against the American people brought on by foreign bankers and the <clears throat> elitists going for global government. The New World Order, as Bush 1 put it, you know, George Bush 1, Bill Clinton, George Bush 2, and Barack Obama all worked for the same damn company. They worked for the same company. Obama is their closer. You know, and so when anybody, all these people, you know, I've heard nothing but patriots except for one or two guys on here tonight. And that one clown that called in that was laughing about this, he's just clueless. I see many people like this on message boards. I work with many people like this. I've been called, where's your tinfoil hat? You know, a fucking loony bin that needs locked up. I've been called all that. I still... I've heard that a lot. Kind of like spreading the the word of God, you know. I spread the word of (laughs) freedom against tyranny, you know. I don't care. Call me what you will. If I wake up one person out of the ten that heard heard me talk, then I've done something good, you know. And that's what it's going to take is, is people to share, people to talk. You know, they want us to suppress. They want to suppress us. They want us to shut up. That's what they want. But, you know, and I'll do the I'll do the damn opposite. And I hear a lot of, and you know, she's right. You know, hearing this tonight. You know, and I heard earlier today. Um, I was listening to the Alex Jones show, like I said, you know, but they had this guy on. I forgot his name. But he said. Tyranny always loses. Look throughout history. It's always lost. You know, and that's true. And it will lose again here in this country. I just hope it loses before they manage to kill millions of people like they did the Jews, like Stalin did. You know? And, uh, I, I, you know, tyranny is going to lose. You know, but, you know, there, I, I saw a statistic where... Just just registered hunters in this country with one rifle makes up fifty six 
of, if you combine all the armies in the world, makes up 56 of the world armies. That is telling. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is it right now. Go hit me up. All right, sorry about that. I had uh, I got a couple of phones I've acquired since then. I'm, I'm communicating with other uh, parts of the network. But uh, you, know, you and me are very much on the same page uh, based on everything that you said, man. And, uh, you know, I... It sounds like we're kind of kindred in, in along how we think, and uh, they're, they're what I'm saying is really prepare for the worst, hope for the best. You know, everybody calls in and, and sees the daisies. Well, you know what? The, first of all, the first bullet that's going to be shot is not going to be the Patriots. It's going to be the damn government. And, but they're going to they're they're try to stage it. But listen, you know, it, it may not be daisies, but people need to keep it and understand and pay attention to who is trying to keep it civil, who is trying to keep it peaceful, and who just wants what's right. You know, and it ain't the damn federal government. People need to wake the hell up. I, I totally agree with you, brother, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, I gave you a lot of the floor, though. If you want to wrap that up, and I'm going to get out to a couple people patiently waiting in line. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. All right, man, you have a good night. Get some rest. I just want to get some more people a chance to talk. I appreciate you, man. Absolutely. Uh, next wireless caller, 5287. You chimed in earlier. Go ahead. Thank you, Brian. Hey, it's Terry. I was the one that you just spoke with from Alabama, and I'm going to say, well, I'll make it quick, I promise. But I want everybody that's listening, if you look, at, if you start posting stuff about the government, you usually get 30 likes on a picture of your dinner, but you only get one like about something you post about patriotism or what's going on in the government. I have 600 people on my Facebook page that is all local people, and I do, I'm one that gets a bunch of likes on everything, but when I post about what's going on in our country, People either private message me and tell me that I need to get off drugs or they tell me that, you know, they think about it every now and then, but they're too embarrassed to comment on it. People need to give this number. You have a thing where people can play back and listen to all this. People need to start talking to your friends at the store, at church, at, at everywhere you go. Start saying, hey, it may not be a conspiracy theory, y'all. What if it is real? Start talking to people and getting the word out about what's going on and get this all this that's been recorded. Let people hear it. And if they really don't care, We'll see who cares and who don't. But people need to, you know, really wake up. There's a lot of sheep out there, and I feel for them. I want everybody to go home. I don't want anybody to have to watch their kids be raped and beheaded because that is what they do to people. <laughs> and that's what, that is, is it not? Yeah, if you yeah, read the Quran, yeah, I have the Bible app and I have the, the Quran only because I wanted to see if what I was seeing was real. Because I was clueless. I told you I married one. I didn't know what a Muslim was. He told me that I didn't have to convert from Christianity, that they like Christians. Really? Okay, I fell for that. So I know if I was a stupid sheep, then there's a lot of stupid sheep. Hey, let kids. me go ahead and interrupt. Hold on, hold on. Before it goes to that, let me go ahead and interrupt you. You know, I give a lot of people a chance to speak, but I, I do want to kind of stand up. Um, I, I know a handful of Muslim people through, uh, from where I used to work. I was a private contractor. I was good at what I do, and when you, you do a good job for someone of a, uh, foreign descent more often than none, many of them are more than willing to recommend you to other people. So, um, True that, I'm, I'm, I'm and that's a, why I wanted, a, you're right, and that's why I'm I wanted to say it's not, hey, it's a majority. I'm a pretty universal guy, so I do of my course. best to kind of get along with everybody unless they do me wrong. Um, I, you know, I've seen live video of Christians protecting Muslims when it was their time to pray while they were in war, and I've seen that. Oh, that would be amazing, but not all and of them I, feel I, that way. There's I, radical Muslims and there's Muslims. There's good okay, ones and there's radical. That's what needs to be said uh, uh, about all religions. And uh, I, right. I personally uh, look into a variety of religions, and I can't say I've found anything that I'm fully 100% uh, you know, confirmed, dedicated to. But you know, there are some ways that I lean that uh, I would like to believe were, were correct. But uh, you know, my okay. answer on religion is, is I know nobody knows what happens when you die. So anybody that says they did can kiss my ass. Because I don't believe you're exactly you. Right. You're exactly so that's right. That's kind of where I sit. And, uh, you know, I'm going to move uh, on to I've got two more people on the call unless you want to say yes, something sir. real quick. I'm begging you to do one thing, though. Get on YouTube and watch Obama praise Islam. Okay, there are radical Muslims and there are good Muslims, so I, do. I hope I didn't offend anybody. But I want you to watch what Obama says about Islam and watch what he says about the Bible and, and think about what would Satan say. I can agree with right. you on that one. Uh, 773, you are back in the queue, brother. What's going on? 
Hey, Brian, this is Dave again. Um, I wanted to, to comment on, on some of the stuff that was just said by the the last few people, <clears throat> especially seeing as um, on the little Paradigm Shift documentary series I do, I go into uh, some funny detail on a lot of dichotomies and stuff. Well, the one hey, guy... If you, could do me a favor, if you could do me a favor, I need you to hold that thought. I am not going to... Uh... I'm not going to, to remove you from the queue, but I've got one of the comms guys that just called in, and uh, I need to put him on right now. I, I, I want you to stay on mine. Uh, I'm just going to put him in for a second and let's see what he's got to say, and I promise you're next in line, okay? Oh, sure, man. I'm here, and I'm streaming out to YouTube. All right, cool. Hang on. Uh, comms, you're, um, you're on. <laughs> I'm going to get back to him. i just get back to him. i got a laughter. I was going to comment on what the previous lady had said, but just let him talk right now. Go ahead, speak up, man. All right. Yeah, um, the one guy that was talking before, um, when he was talking about how, you know, the bankers control Wall Street and Wall Street controls the politicians and all that, it's the same with the organized religions. Um, you know, if and if you look at what, um, what, what, because you know how Jesus was against the scribes and, and the Pharisees that were in charge? If you look at his I don't, description... I don't know that for a fact, but I can say I know what I've read based on the testimonies of people that have rewritten a book that has been written a couple times over by people that translated it a couple times before it even made it into English, and then there was pre-English. So uh, I, based on that, I can't confirm or deny anything you just said, but that's okay. what I've been told. Okay. Well, my simple point is that his description of the Pharisees sounds a lot like organized religion and, and the state, you know, people who are trying to just mess with you and control everybody instead of letting people be free. But the point is, is that these banksters, um, they hide behind religion. I really, I personally don't think Obama's Muslim. I personally don't think the Bushes are, are Christians. Um, a lot of these Jewish banksters, I don't even think are Jewish. Um, these Kabbalists, they, uh, they hide behind religion so that they can put, pit the religions against each other. The name of the game is divide and conquer. They want to pit everybody against each other. I got friends from all around the world, all different types of creeds and faiths and colors and everything else. And I can say that the majority of them, they're, you know, they're just like anybody else, just regular, basically nice people. They're being terrorized by the powers that be just, uh, just like anybody. And, you know, most of these Muslims in other countries and whatever, they're just like the Christians and just like you and me and just like everybody else, just regular people that basically in their hearts are good. It's not the majority, like this lady said, that are, that are radicals. As a matter of fact, the, minor, the very extreme minority of radicals, they get put on the news as a part of the divide and conquer. Oh, look at this group of Muslim radicals. They must represent all of the Muslim faith. And, you know, people buy into it. And, you know, most Muslims, just like most Christians, they're not out to go invade and kill anybody. They're just trying to, trying to get by. And if that, if that lady who was on the call could see how Muslim women are treated, you know, in their society by the elite aristocracy of, of the Islamic world, um, you know, I don't think that lady would be so, so quick, you know, to, to say what she's saying. Because it's pure prejudice. It's like, you know, if a black person mugs a white person and the white person's like, oh, all black people are going to mug you. No, they're not. Most black people are very nice. You've got a few miscreants, but the same as white people. It's like saying, well, most of the Nazis were white, so that must mean that, you know, all white people are Nazis. No, that's a, that's a game of the globalists. It's divide and conquer. They want to pit people against each other. And all I would suggest is don't fall for it. You know, that's, don't fall for it. I appreciate your input. Uh, if anybody else wants to go ahead and chime in or give in any input, has any intel confirmed, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you go ahead and press star six, and uh, you'll fall into the queue so that we can get you uh, ahead of uh, everybody else um, that hasn't chimed in. So feel free to press star six on your phone if you've got something to say we want to hear from you. Uh, there's still a good 40-some-odd people on this call right now, so if anybody else wants to chime in, you're more than welcome. Um, I've got one more person that went back in the queue. Not sure how you just got muted, Huss. Let me pull you back in. Wireless caller 7643, Tom, how are yeah. you? 
Yeah. I just want to comment on what the last person had to say and the divide and conquer. Absolutely, I agree. And what I was talking about by globalist elite and bankers was the Rothschild family. Even Vladimir Putin himself said, you want to fix the problem, kill the Rothschilds. That's what I was referring to. And I agree with the religious aspect. That, that, you know, back in the 70s, Muslims didn't have all the cloaks all over their faces and heads and everything. I think that's kind of a new age thing to control the people. I agree with that. Divide and conquer. United we stand, divided we fall. That's all I had to say. No, you're you're right on the money, and and that's what the uh, you know the 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 evil doers or the wrongdoers or the uh, frauds up top are really trying to do. You know, when when somebody's shaking shaking their finger at uh, you know somebody who's doing the wrong thing, they tend to kind of try to push some blame, obviously, in other directions. So we do have some people that have chimed in that are kind of on the little project just to find out what's going on in D.C. right now. You know, directly that's you know part of this sleight of hand. They're making us look one way. What else is going on around here that uh, we need to also be paying attention to? That's usually what you want to do. And, uh, you know, kind of like uh, when there's a drill going on, what do you do? The first thing you do is you keep a close eye on what authorities are going to be showing up at this drill to see who's going to be, uh, you know, typically instigating, you know, seven out of the ten last drills. We know how those turned out. And there's usually a variety of different, uh, you know, law enforcement, quote, unquote, authorities there no matter how fraudulent they are, when they're working in conjecture, you know, the uh, chain of command kind of gets thrown off and the responsibility gets thrown in another area. So, uh, you know, based on what we heard, there was other law enforcement authorities heading here. Uh, apparently, somebody's mentioned, a uh, few people have mentioned DHS is heading there tomorrow while the sheriffs and politicians, hopefully more media uh, and, and people with cameras and other stream capability are there. Uh, boots on the ground to report live. Um, I'm going to throw it up in the air for anybody else who wants to jump in on this call. There's still 40 so on people in the room. Anybody wants to press star six, you're going to be the next caller in line. And I'll go ahead and open the line and let you say what you want to say. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be me and this guy at 7643 for the next few minutes. Uh, mm -hmm. Unless I can just go ahead and open up the room and scare the shit out of all y'all. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Anything else you wanted uh, to go ahead and say, man? I mean, it sounds like you're uh, a logical fella and you're on the same page with the rest of us, man. Uh, again, I like how you think, and I've met a lot of people today that uh, you know I hope I can communicate and stay in touch with in the future, you know. And you're definitely one of them. I appreciate you. Keep chiming back in. Absolutely. You know, I, you know, I don't. I, I just happen to be Christian myself. You know, I'm not a very good one, <laughs> but uh, you know. It, you know, I got into that watching the YouTube videos on the, the Muslim thing where they're beheading Christians in Syria and all that. And, you know, I got to dig it deeper in that, and I noticed, you know, first of all, who was funding the Syrian rebels with all their weapons, which would be us, the taxpayers, through Benghazi. Benghazi was a gun-running place, you know, and uh, those are just uh, paid, paid uh, you know, militants you know, claiming to be some sort of religion, you know? Hey, brother, I, uh, I got a, a female that's trying to chime in. Um, I'm still, absolutely still with you. I'm just going to let this gal chime in, too, as well. Hang on a line. All right, uh, 8692, you just called in? <laughs> you said fucking female, dude. Oh, sorry, bro. Hang on the line. Uh, let's watch out for the curse words, and uh, I, I see a female's name on the call already. I know exactly who this is, man, and uh, I'm, I'm looking for chiming in. Um, yeah, basically, we uh, we started this conversation with the uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty commander uh, earlier yesterday at around 7 and uh, decided to uh, open the doors and let other people chime in. Uh, we were trying to contact other Second Amendment supporting groups from other states and uh, it spread like wildfire from there. Um, many other groups and uh, 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 administrators from other groups and commanders and such uh, you know, set up the call tree, and we got all kinds of media attention right now, and uh, a variety of groups are rebroadcasting this as I speak, um, and other people are chiming in from all over, as well as uh, I've seen some out of uh, out of range calls. I'm not sure how they're getting in, uh, but they they keep coming up. I'm gonna just assume that you know there are uh, eyes in the sky, so I'll kind of watch what you say right now, man. 
Uh, we peaked out yeah. at about four. We, we peaked out at about 400 people uh, earlier today, and then yesterday we only peaked out at about 130. Um, anybody who wants to hear the previous calls before this, uh, you can type uh, in your phone a phone number 559-726-1399, and uh, audio key now for the last recorded conversation segment was uh, pound 9676. And uh, if you type that in and listen to the conversation along that time, we, we leave the number for the call prior to that one, so if that helps anybody out. Um, I'm talking to my uh, friend Guru on the line right now, right? Yep, definitely. So uh, hopefully me? that could put you a little bit up to date on the call itself as far as the situation, uh, which is what you were asking about. We've had some people that confirm boots on the ground up to around 200 people. Uh, we confirmed that the uh, Bureau of Land Management has removed out of 500 cows, somewhere around three, 400 of them, and they're down to like 150 cows still on the property, give or take. Um, we, we had somebody that had aerially uh, came over there and uh, counted them themselves, um, and now all of a sudden that whole area is in a no-fly zone. Coincidentally, uh, we've got uh, various uh, communication lines that are going to be set up uh, in the next 24 hours. Uh, as soon as I can uh, get off this phone call, I've got to start the whole call tree up again. Uh, we've got uh, aviators of different groups that have uh, chimed in that want to help out. Uh, we've got somebody who has the capability to use their own uh, personal drones, which uh, that's going to come in useful in the near future. Um, we've got a, you know, a variety of groups that have chimed in, uh, active military, um, you know, retired at one point ranked people um, and a variety of others that we plan on coming on board uh, for, sure, for sure tomorrow, uh, hopefully at Ground Zero or in the vicinity. Um, we did have reports that uh, some people were getting pulled over and they had out-of-state plates uh, if, if they're carrying you know, weapons in a, in a form that, or a manner that they shouldn't be. Um, we're highly uh, recommending people not do that. The uh, ranchers themselves just want uh, peaceful protesters to show up. Um, if anybody's got supplies, you're more than welcome to bring them. Bring enough to hold your own for a week or so, if possible. And uh, if you can bring extras for others, that'll come in real handy. Uh, if you're caravanning out there, we're recommending that uh, your munitions vehicles stay behind, if possible. And uh, you know, no hotheads, man. Not, no hotheads right now. Everybody knows we're kind of on stand down. Although you can go to su uh, show support. Uh, we, we don't need any hotheads going in there, uh, hot and heavy, full battle rattle, causing any problems. That is not what the ranchers want. And uh, we're on their property, and right now, uh, chain of command starts with uh, the people at Ground Zero. Uh, you know, Nevada has precedence, and uh, we've got a couple of uh, people that have uh, been delegated to be liaisons, and they've set up a chain of command there already. And uh, we're waiting for those people to chime back in again uh, later today in about... Uh, 14 hours. Yeah, that's that's legit, man. Yeah, because I just uh, just came across on that, and then, you know, it kind of blew my mind. I wanted to get your input on it and get a uh, get a little bit more uh, insight on it. But I was calling to the last guy that was talking, man. You know, he he was right on the head, man. You know, one one of the fellow one of the callers uh, a couple before I, you know, I, I it didn't I didn't fully agree, or not not even fully. I really didn't agree with much he had to say, but, you know, the next couple callers that called in, you know, especially the last guy, and uh, I was listening to him talking about the beheading and uh, of the Christians, and, and I, I, I was thinking right to myself, but who funded it? And he said it right there, and, you know, he, wise man, dude. It's always good to come on and, you know, socialize with people that uh, that are wide awake and, you know, outside of their bubble. But, uh, yeah, great thing, dude. You do great things, man. And, you know, I was just tuning in. I just wanted to actually just put a little insight on that, you know. On uh, the organized religion, it's just the same story told over and over and over and over again. You know, everyone energy science is, is a science is, is a is a religion told into a different factor. Energy, you're, everyone has energy. That's a soul. It only can be moved on, or transferred, and just, it's we all just have to get in with our inner selves and connect with everybody as a whole. Man, we're all brothers and sisters from the same creator, but. You know, somewhere along the lines, you know, things get divided up and people point fingers at certain people. And that's, exa that's exactly what he said. That's divide and conquer. That's what they want to do. That's, that's their purpose. They want to they they pin us against each other. 
create genocide, evil, and just and just sit back and, and just watch what they created. But yeah, man, that's that's uh, that's cool. I wanted to get a little information on what was going on. I had, I had saw your post about it, and you know, was kind of hey, wondering. Look, but uh, let, me ask, let me ask you this, bro: What are you doing in about twelve hours? Twelve hours. Uh, not the best at math, my man. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's six p.m. Yeah. Uh, not a brother. Probably not a whole lot, dude. Uh, I need you to get in contact with me around that time frame. I've got something I need to put you on. If you could clear your day from that point, um, I need you for a couple hours. Is that cool? You want me to come by? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, brother, I'll come by. All right, catch me uh, at, at around 6 p.m., all right? All right, my man. All right, 10 yep. You can stay on the line and all that. Um, i got another caller that's in the queue right now, so I'm going to let them talk for a little bit. But uh, I'm going to yep. keep you close, man. Uh, I know exactly who you are, and I know exactly how uh, you can help the cause, man. If you've got a couple hours tomorrow, um, I could definitely utilize you. Is that okay? I got, I got whenever you need me, brother. Whenever I'm free for you, I'm, I'm there, man. Yeah, and you know I trust you completely, man, but uh, I, I'm giving you a couple promotions just because I, I know you and, uh, and, and I know where your mindset is and I know how you think, and uh, I trust you completely. You've not given me any reason not to, so... Uh, I'm actually going to probably give you a second in command uh, as far as this conference call goes tomorrow, but uh, let's talk in 12 hours about that, okay? No doubt, brother. All right, 10-4. Uh, uh, I'm going to open the line. Uh, if you get disconnected, forgive me, man. Uh, Guru, uh, again, 12 hours from now, we got to talk. Um, yeah. I'm going to open up the line for another person right now. Uh, 9298, uh, are, you still, are you still in the queue? Yeah, brother, I'm here. Go um, ahead. How can I help you? Sir? I'm driving in. Um, from southern Alabama. I've been on the road since about, uh, I don't know, about 2.30 yesterday afternoon, somewhere near Oklahoma now. Um, where do where do we need to go? Well, people that are coming in, people that are driving that away from across the country, where are we needed, what are we needed to do, where do we need to head to? Um, you know, we're trying to find some rally points. As far as we know, Ground Zero uh, is still open, and the uh, farmers, I'm sorry, the ranchers are requesting that uh, at 9 o'clock their time this morning in a few hours uh, that they meet at the flagpole on their property. And, I, uh, you know, again, we're trying to get uh, boots on the ground, waiting for them to wake up. Um, it'll start getting bright around there real soon. So uh, hopefully somebody else chimes in and can, and, and can bang that out for you. I, I would highly recommend... Uh, any sort of navigation tools or equipment that you have to get to that Bundy Ranch uh, via Google Maps or whatever it is, um, you know, you go right ahead, but don't come in hard and heavy, man, if you can. Uh, oh, no. As of right now. Let me, tell you, let me tell you a little bit about myself and what we're, what we're trying to do. Um, I'm a United States Army SEER school instructor. I'm a civilian contract instructor for the United States Army SEER school. Um, I also run a Facebook page called American Warrior Revolution. Um, Man, we're strictly, there's several of us that are coming. We're coming because we want to put out some high-quality instruction to people that are there, just training and simple stuff. And, man, we're not coming in to, uh, we just want to be supportive. We want to pass some of our knowledge to those that are willing to accept it and, um, and just help in any way we can. You know what I'm saying? There's several of us that are coming from the, from the SEER school. Um, just want to help. You know what I mean? So, we're coming in with it, you know, kind of blind as far as where we're needed to go or what we're needed to do. I've heard some stuff about um, people congregating or meeting at one of the tribal areas. Um, I don't know if that's still on or I, I, I've got a phone number to, I guess, get a hold of them. But, um, uh, you know, it, one person called in and recommended that, said that they spoke to someone in the office just before it was closing and said that they have offered that. Um, I don't know that exact situation. I, I would still consider trying to get that uh, as a rally point. Uh, as, as of right now, that was a dedicated rally point, number one, but we, we, we don't have anything totally confirmable until we can get a hold of them uh, when they open. And, and, I'm, and, and it is the weekend, so I'm not sure what their hours are. Uh, we, we'd like to get a hold of them. Uh, if anybody can catch anybody from the res that can uh, maybe go to someone in charge at the res and, and verify that, um, that'd be huge right now. So if, if, it, if and when you get there, um, I would actually still, still recommend still trying, trying to open those doors. And uh, if you are in contact with more boots on the ground, please get them in on this call because we need uh, live people that are there on the inside of the circle 
Um, I'm just going to recommend, you know, no BDUs if you're coming in a caravan. No, no, Again, no, we're I, all we're we're all in, we're we're all in civvies, and um, we're not going to we're not going to represent ourselves, you know, as as army contractors. Again, we're civilian. We're not enlisted in the army. We're civilian contractors for the army, but uh, that's not what we're here to do. We're just here to pass out some some instruction and some, give some training to those who are wanting it and uh, and help in any way that we can. I like I said, I, I, is it okay if I publish? Uh, the ad for for this conference call on American Warrior Revolution. Uh, absolutely, uh, you've got full reign to rebroadcast it, to repost it, uh, request you know other people to repost it. However, you want to go about doing that, um, we are, we are fully open to that idea. We want uh, active duties. We want more veterans that are in touch with active duties to kind of keep us posted on uh, you know what, what what are you guys thinking over there. We know. That you, I know a lot of veterans, man, and uh, I, I work with the veteran business run by veterans, and uh, all of our clients are pretty much veterans and a lot of active duty that we're in touch with. So a lot of them have chimed in uh, over the last two days, and uh, we, we want to hear more from guys like that. Also, just to get some feedback, we know that people are, are uh, at a point where they know that they may have to choose sides, and uh, we want to make sure that we get as many people on board you know, to let them know that they're not alone, so other people that are going to choose the right side, which is really the people, no matter how you look at it, and doing the right thing, that's all we want. That's the American way it should be. You know, we we know who the infiltrators are now. You know, we know who the bad guys are now. And, uh, you know, it's kind of sad. It's kind of exposed. You know, um, it's really unfortunate that, you know, things are coming down to what they are coming down to. This is a potentially volatile situation, uh, which is totally what we're trying to avoid. Um, all, all I can, you know, stay, say uh, is we're still trying to get a lot of uh, surrounding sheriffs on the same page. If anybody can still try to reach out to surrounding county sheriffs and get some feedback or let them know about this call so they can chime in or, or at least come back with what that sheriff might have said, um, that'd be huge. So we've still got 50 so odd people on this call. Uh, you know, if somebody can help coordinate that, that'd be great. Um, let me, I'm going to let you talk in one me. more second. I'm just going to remind – hang on a second. Uh, I'm just going to remind people, if, if you're still on this call and you're one of those 50 people and you want to speak up, have anything to say, any updates, uh, I see some names that have not come forward, uh, You know, feel free to press uh, star six right now and uh, you'll be able to chime in. But uh, 